Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your family. Uh, families, as always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you reside and stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. There is a woman within a community that does not want people to believe that you belong in that community. She wants people to reject you. But judgment is in this situation. You will be receiving communication about something that is being given to you. Uh, and it's something that's genuine that's going to lead to a victory for you, okay? And while you are going through this victory, your, your enemies will be going through some type of karma, okay? Someone does not want you to belong in a community someone does not want people to believe that you belong in a community but you do you belong in that community more than she does okay um uh, it's like someone wants people to see you as her but she's masking herself so it's like someone putting herself out to be a wholesome person a divine feminine but the whole time it's a whole masquerade this could be a, a, a masculine a, a karmic masculine uh, uh, pretending to be someone in the upright uh, and trying to get other people to see you in a negative like like I don't think she belongs here we were never able to work along with her or him if you're a man um, it would be a mistake to bring them back in this company you see how everybody's getting along the whole time he's he or she is bribing people behind the scenes to act like everything is a okay ain't nothing okay someone could even be bribing people with money to act like they're friends with him because this is not someone that has genuine friends this is someone that buys their friends the friendships are clients the, the the clients are not friends okay you get that the friends the friendships are clients the friends are clients the clients are not friends you get my meaning let me write that down friends are clients okay because maybe if, if source wants me to keep doing these raggedy people stories maybe we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix the situation this is some low lower energy or someone that chooses to reside out of their lower energy someone is very i don't know what the word is immature bruised broken whatever this is baby i don't care it ain't none of my business whatever you're dealing with you need to go and heal from it and stop trying to destroy other people's life especially people that haven't done anything to you all it is is that you feel insecure about yourself it don't got nothing to do with that star c it don't got nothing to do with that empress it is all you you feel intimidated by someone that's why you're trying to prove that it don't belong in an institution in a position or nothing someone may have tried to even give something that is yours to someone else or they may have stolen something that belongs to you or they're trying to block something that belongs to you so that you don't get it it can go to someone else been telling people oh that's not a true queen of cups that's not a true empress they're pretending to be that whole time they're the one pretending and people are upset behind the scenes or there could be a specific energy that's upset behind the scenes that you are going to be receiving some type of good news but this is someone pretending that they're okay with it they're okay with the decision that either an institution has made or a leader has made or a businessman has made to give to someone and when he's done giving to you or when he's in the process of giving something to you i don't know if this is a contract that's being given to you the real caller is going to come out oh the real caller is going to come out someone is going to be seen for the facade that they are said i thought you were okay with me giving to this person what happened i'm okay with it yeah sure sure you are maria sure you are okay maria didn't went went through an extensive length to make sure that their star seed does not get what it is that's theirs okay so if you are like someone of high honor a wealthy man within a community and you've been trying to give to someone and you can't get in contact with them that's because maria and her crew have been collaborating behind the scenes to do to cause some type of hindrance maria could even be thinking to go as so far as to give that energy of fake job offer just to cause them some type of distress. It's like, we're going to set up this company. 
gonna come up with this fake position, gonna get in contact with him or her, let them know that we are considering them for a position. Whole time you are wondering, now mother effer, how did you get my contact? Uh, I'm not interested. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna try to make it seem like it's something solid. They said, we got a job position for you. Uh, we've been watching you for a long time. Uh, whether it's a nine to five, whether it's a business you own, whether it's online, we've been watching you for a long time and we think you would really be great for this position. Um, we would like to meet with you. Can you uh, send us your information? Would you like to meet with us? It's a no, 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 no. And they are afraid that you're gonna see right through them. This woman, this woman, I don't know who this woman is or this man is in this community that is so determined to have people believe that you don't belong in this community, but someone has gone to an extensive length to make sure you don't step foot in an institution. But that's a beautiful thing because whatever your future is, you're supposed to build something uh, by yourself. You're someone very solid. With the Seven of Wands, followed by the Eight of Pentacles, your work is very solid. You're someone very genuine, someone of high honor, solid as a rock, solid A, solid as a rock. And you may have someone that comes along and try and, and invest in you, gives to you so that you can invest even more into your business because someone sees you as someone that's very hardworking, um, very business minded very determined to make it in life. Someone may even admire your strength, admire your energy, how you carry yourself because you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles energy, Page of Cups energy, Eight of Wands energy. Baby, you are everything in one. So business-wise, someone sees you as an investment. Like you are someone worth investing into because they know you will invest the proper way. The people he's around right now, he may feel like if you give them money, they go and put it on bags and shoes. These are people that are into luxurious ways of living, the luxurious lifestyle. And this man knows that you are very humble with you showing up as the queen of pentacles. This is why he wants to give to you, extend a hand, a hand to you, a helping hand to you. Uh, so someone knows who it is they're trying to invest in, but there are people around him trying to get him not to do that. When I tell you this man knows this, there's the Six of Cups. This man knows who you are. Uh, morally, ethically, especially when it comes to principle, you do things based on principle. You're someone very respectable, someone very sophisticated, and someone with high honor. A lot of these people around him that he's watching, he knows they ain't not, none of those things. Yeah, he, he he's thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. Hey. I've been thinking about you. Hey, okay. They don't want him thinking about you. They're trying to keep him busy and distracted. They said, you, did you do this work? Can you help us with this? This person needs help. There ain't nobody need no help. They're setting up scenarios so they can keep you busy. They don't want you thinking about that woman that you're trying to invest in. That's what it is. That's what it is. They're trying to distract you. They say, make sure you keep him busy. Ask him if you if he needs help, okay? So that he's not thinking about that star C over there, okay? Okay. And the whole time it ain't working. This is a man in control of himself. He and that's baby. That's all he thinks about is that that Queen of Cups, the very one they're trying to stop him from thinking about. He says, "Sure, I've been thinking about you." Hey, I've been thinking about you. That man be thinking about you, girl. Ah! <laughs> Maybe a little bit obsessed with you, but it's a healthy kind of obs obsession. Okay, we're not complaining about this kind of obsession here. This man is determined, baby, to come to you and make you an offer. Okay? Someone is of high honor. Someone is respectable. Yeah, I'm telling you, he knows who you are. He knows who you are. He ain't confused. He ain't confused. A brother knows who you are, sister. He ain't confused. The dumb people, but the dumb, the dumb people around him, them creatures around him are confused. But you ain't confused. You ain't confused, sir. He's he knows you're a whole empress coming in to give you a friendship or something. It's like thank you, sir. That's how you gonna be the up for me. What did I do to deserve this? Okay. What did I do? You don't even know. 
He'll tell you, but it's going to be the most ridiculous reason ever. But you know what? Girl, still take it. <laughs> Sir, still take it. Take it and say thank you. Say thank you. Yeah, this man sees you as an emperor. The truth is out. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's the confession time. True confession. You know, you remember in Matilda? True confession. There's some type of confession that's out. There's some type of truth that's out. Maybe people are telling the truth about you, Queen of Swords. You could be in your Queen of Swords energy. This man sees you as a Queen of Cups, but you are in your Queen of Swords energy. And it's for a reason that you are in that energy. And more than likely, he knows, okay? But there are people that are more than likely telling the truth because something has gone on for too long. It is going to balance the situation out. All this blockages, still miss manipulations and things like that. It's all going to be balanced out. This is a toxic chapter that is coming to an end. Yeah, they're telling the truth about all the lies and lies they've been telling, all the manipulations about how they've been working real hard. They've got it addicted to trying to stop you, block you, keep something from being given to you, take something that belongs to you, hinder your investments and things like that, paying people behind the scenes to end you and your finances, your resources, everything you can think of. These people are obsessed with with you they've been trying to stop a whole queen of wands in the upright we ain't talking about you regularly behind in the reverse you know very well we know who you are on this channel but there's some type of truth coming out about how people have been obsessed with trapping you stopping you controlling you blocking you all kinds of stuff because of jealousy and they sell a lot of monies on the line they don't want you and someone to come together like it got something to do with them but the whole time they don't realize they're blocking themselves they're hindering themselves Oh, that's the truth for you all. Every action you've been taking have been, has been doing nothing but blocking you all. Because once this man is 100% aware of what's going on here, I want to work with you all. The institutions you're in, about to lose your jobs. Oh, yeah, you're about to lose your jobs. It's, uh, you're about to lose your jobs. About to lose your jobs. Okay? Whatever you all have been investing in when it comes to ending someone's, someone else's investments, it's the end of the road. It's the end of the road. I don't know who this King of Cups is that's wanting to balance something out because he's trying to block some type of karma. Maybe you had it right for poverty. I cannot help you. <laughs> you made your bed. You're going to have to lay in it. Mm, yeah, the, the secrets are out. Oh, they're angry. Oh, they are pissed off. The secrets are out. Con and there's a whole lot of confusion. It's like, how does she keep showing up to work? How does he, he how does he keep showing up to work? How is he still posting? Blah, 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 blah. Just, these people are irrational as heck. Failing to listen to their intuition, okay? It's like their intuition, you know, like, sometimes you're doing something and your intuition will tell you don't do that. But your ego has kicked in so heavily and so strong. You feel like you got to keep going because you got a point to prove. Not realizing that you're really just sabotaging yourself. It's a woman that keeps telling someone to keep doing something. And she don't realize that she's sabotaging herself even more and him even more. Because when something comes to the... Like, when something comes to its full extent... No one is getting away. There's a man that was amongst you all that left ahead of time because he saw what was going on. And he also knew that he should not be a part of something. Maybe initially he was okay with doing something because he didn't quite understand what was going on. And there were lots and lots of promises made to him. Maybe about a lot of money. He was going to have this money. He was going to have that money. I don't know if they told him that's a star seed. If you're nice to them, you get blessings. That ain't how it worked because the blessing, the, the help you're giving them, the niceness you're giving them is not something genuine. Anyways, this brother, we have analyzed the situation. He will have sat back because he was more than likely watching this star seed. He sat back. He said, let me analyze. Because since I started involving myself with these people, ain't nothing going well in my life. Maybe someone passed away in his life. Maybe he lost something, lost a car, had to downgrade his life, downsize his life. He said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all got me after. This could have been someone religious or whatever. He looked around. He said, hold up. They told me if I did this to this person, I would be abundant. I would be blessed. But it seems like every time I do something to this person, I either end up sick, 
something happens to a family member, something happens to my in my life. Now I gotta downsize my life and th uh uh. He's he 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 bowed out gracefully. Smart man. Smart man. Okay. He saw something, he said, mm-mm. Maybe he may have even wanted to tell you, hey, they're trying to take you out. And you probably saw him, and he didn't know the whole time you was aware of what it is he knew. He didn't know you were aware when he was buying you candy, talking about he was being nice to you, or buying you drinks, talking about he was being nice to you, and you're just looking at it. Baby, that ain't how that works, but thank you for the candy, and thank you for the drinks, thank you for the coffee, but that ain't how it works. You're still going to get that karma. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because you're under an illusion. that You were under an illusion about a star seed. It was wishful thinking. Maybe these ancestors, they are never far from these kind of energy. It says, see me, see my ancestors. See my ancestors, uh, see me. We are all for one and one for all. Okay? But that brother or whoever it was, I'm picking up on a masculine. He saw the situation. He said, uh-uh, I can't afford, I cannot afford any more losses. And whatever they're planning to do to this person here, I don't want to be a part of it. Because if I've only done this little bit and my life is in this much of a wreck, I guarantee you it's going to be worse. They was coming after a whole empress. <clears throat> you, you, you see how that brother bowed out gracefully? He and his... A uh, family partner, whoever, they saw the situation. They said, I'm telling you. They said, uh-uh, we got to cut our losses and move on. Woman of high honor, privileged lady, you may want to do the same thing. Because something ain't going your way. And it's not because that star C is doing anything to you. It's the judgment of the universe. Judgment has already been made in a situation. And it's final. You cannot change the will of God. Whatever you want to call it. God. The universe, source, source energy. You cannot change any decision that creator makes. Okay? And someone's ancestors, they said they ain't going to stop wreaking havoc in you all's lives until you cut your losses and move on. Okay? So you need to fix something. Leave it alone. Okay? Mend what you have broken. Maybe some of you could be friends. I doubt it. But mend the friendships before it's too late. Because something has gotten out of hand. You got a whole community that's obsessed with stopping one person. A whole community that's obsessed with destroying one person or destroying a divine union. It's divine for a reason. That means there's destiny in that union. These are probably two people that's been incarnating for many lifetimes together. And baby, they got a contract that they've made with one another. We're going to go through all this hocus pocus with these these uh uh uh, uh, uh nut cases, these knuckleheads every lifetime, but then at the end of the shenanigans, you and I will meet and we will get together and we will build together. Some lifetimes they get married and some lifetimes they just end up together. But I see them getting married here, so it looks like they will be getting married, and we're gonna have the knuckleheads watch us get married and blah, 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 and we're going to live happily ever after. But we, these two here, they got a con These two people here, they got a contract. They know what's going on. <laughs> you all may not know what's going on, but on a spiritual level, these two are having them entertainment. They said, look, 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 look. Here comes Maria today. She's going to tell my twin flame how I'm so reckless, how I'm mentally ill. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm mentally unstable. I'm a nutcase. You know, I'm, un I'm emotionally uh, unstable. As I'm just unstable in every way, shape, or form. I'm just a danger to society. Whole time your twin flame is sitting there listening to her spiritually. He's just like, look at this moron here. It's, listen, I know this woman here. I know this woman way better than you do. I know her like the back of my hands. May not have been around her a long time in the physical, but baby, that's my other half. Ain't nothing you're telling me about her truth. So, but pop off, pop off, pop off. I'll listen. I, I have to be diplomatic. Because you know what? Those people of high honor, these businessmen, they train themselves to listen. Even if they don't want to listen to you, they're going to listen to you, baby. They, they be listening to you like, oh, Lord, I wish you would shut up. <laughs> 
but they'll still stay there and listen to your nonsense. Just waiting, just waiting for it to be over so they can go back to what, doing whatever it was they were doing because you didn't have nothing of substance that they wanted to hear. You hear me? You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. So it could be a people in a community trying to play with a businessman's mental and they don't even know that man is light years ahead of them. Yeah, have you ever met someone you just know don't try their mental? Some people don't listen. These kind of comments, they don't listen. Like, they've met this man. They know this is someone that's very intellectual. They know this is someone so far advanced, has so much self-esteem. They don't got no business taking time out of their raggedy lives to go and try to play mental games with him. But you know what he does? Yeah, that man will sit back and just play into the illusion. He must be like me. Baby, we'll play into the illusion and get you to feel like you got us trapped. It's an illusion the whole time. The entrapment is an illusion. And the whole time you don't know until you try to bust a move and then you come meet this energy here because we know the whole time you ain't nothing but a thief. You sneezy character. You foxy character. Okay? And by the time you don't even know it's too late and we're back again to what? Looking into what's important to us. Listen. It's a court case coming up for you all. I would say good luck, but I already know you're going to lose. Someone got a court case going on. I don't know if someone's going through a divorce right now. It'll go in your favor, sir. I don't know if a woman is trying to take a house away from you or something like that. Listen, I ain't a married woman, so I ain't going to even put my two cents in there. But you all will work out your married business as I proceed with my tarot reading. How you doing, folks? Let's get back to the tarot reading. Not married folks don't get involved in married folks' business. Okay? We don't. We don't. Listen. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. You see the eight of swords here in the reverse? These people are mad because you are free. You are free to be. You are free to be, free to express yourself. You are going through some type of ascension or you've gone through some type of ascension. Uh, maybe there are people relieving themselves from this collaboration but i what i really see is a group of people a community that's obsessed or angry or mad that they don't have you trapped you're leaving a community to go and give an offer to someone that is free to be themselves they don't live in some type of mental imprisonment they're not trapped in their head they're not confused you're finding out that whoever this is is not confused they're just unique they're different. They're wholesome. They're a star seed. So they don't move like everybody else. They're not mentally ill. This is like a nutcase telling a man that a woman is a nutcase because the nutcase because because that woman is a star seed. So it's like a lunatic telling a man that a star seed is a lunatic because they don't vibrate on that level. Make it make sense. It never will. Star seed, you got a contract coming in. It's gonna lead to a freaking amount of abundance for you. Success, happiness, joy, family graceful living <laughs> generosity from you to people from people to you but you're about to be amongst like-minded people basically just working working nine to five uh-huh 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 look at you investing investing in yourself someone's trying to help you get out of some type of energy be very cautious with this person okay Whatever offer this is, it's a queen of queen of wands that's upset that it's not being given to her. Or maybe something less was given to her and she's upset about that. Remember she said what? She's the one for the job. <laughs> he said, oh, you are? Okay. Instead of giving you this 100000 I'm going to give you 25000 Let's see how you do. <laughs> mad, bad. She is mad that something didn't go to her. <laughs> she's mad that you're receiving an offer. Something is not going to her. She, she received some type of communication that you are still moving forward. Something is being given to you. And baby, she is pissed off. Just mad. Sitting in the corner. Sitting in the corner. Oops, <laughs> yeah. Been sitting in the corner in time out by sore. So I said, hey, 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 child, child. Listen, you got one more time to get on my last nerves. I done told you. Leave them other kids alone in the playground, okay? On the playground. You got one more time to get on my last nerve. I'm tired. It's nine billion of you down there, and I'm trying to I'm trying my best to manage you. You keep getting on my nerve every five seconds. I'm being told something about you. 
you're getting on my nerve now. Sit down in that quarter <laughs> and think about what you did. Think about what you did. <laughs> she is, oh Lord, this woman is pissed off. Like someone is throwing some type of temper tantrum behind the scenes, but she's trying to hide it. She doesn't want people to see that she's angry because ain't nothing good around this woman except the fact that she received some type of communication that something is being taken away from her. Um, and it's the end. Three of swords by her. The moon in reverse because this is someone that's been causing a lot of confusions. Trying to get someone to kind of let you go, forget about you. It said that that's not who you think it is. She's not who you think she is. She's reckless. She's this, she's that. Like she wants someone to turn their back on you. Because like, don't help her. This is someone very malicious. So something is being taken away from her because the truth is exposed. This is someone that's been working hard to destroy you while trying to hide the fact that she's trying to destroy you because she wants a man to see her or a community to see her as the right one. And again, this competition, whatever competition this was, it had to do with you being yourself. Like allowing someone to see you for who you are. Even if you're toxic, you be toxic. If you're a uh, 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 karmic, be karmic. If you are genuine, be genuine. Like this had to do with you being yourself. And that's why this man wants to work with this star C because this star C is 100% themselves. If they have something to say, they say it. They're not worried about what John thinks of them, what Mary thinks of them. They're not worried about any of that. All they know is that's the truth and that's what I'm going to say. Okay, how you think it is your, is your choice. It's all about perspective because a lot of the time, star seeds when they talk, there ain't no malicious intent behind it. People may take it take it the right way because they tend to speak very straightforward, say what they have to say, and people that are not used to the truth, they take it the wrong way. They say, "Oh, she was being disrespectful. She thinks she's better than us. He thinks he's better than us." It's like no, that person is just being straightforward with you. You don't know how to be straightforward. That's why it's a problem for you. And you are taking things out of context. This is someone that does this. You'll just hear something and run with it. Add her own little sauce to it. Yeah, she's mad because this Ten of Pentacles, it ain't for her. It's not being given to her. It's being given to someone else. Someone is not letting you go. She wants this man to forget about you. You like, forget about her. Give it to me. But she's not going to come out and say, give it to me. She's going to keep putting herself in his energy so he can see that she's there. She's the one for the position. If it was given to her, baby, it's been taken away. So, huh? You don't know what you're doing. This whole time you've been pretending to know what you're doing. You mean you've been stealing from the actual star seed? Baby, we might as well go and work with the star seed. Why would we keep working with the fraud, with the fake? Someone is losing sponsorships. If this is something like that, oh, she's losing sponsorships. It's a wait, hold on now. We're a Ten of Pentacles company. And you've been out here sabotaging us. And you want us to keep working with your fig behind and what? Just leave the real deal out there? We got to keep working with you every day to remember your lines and or remember your lies. We don't got to do that with that person. Let's work. Goodbye, Melissa. Goodbye, Melissa. Goodbye, Melissa. The show is over now. Yeah. Oh, they're mad. I'm telling you. They want this man to leave you out in the cold. That brother said, you got me fooled up in one in too many ways. Uh-uh. That brother is coming to invest in you, Starcy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's coming to you. She's mad, mad that you ain't, that she ain't getting something. She is afraid, living in anxiety about everything she was doing here behind the scenes, out on the scenes, trying to stop you, block you, sabotage you, cause you endings, have you taken out while celebrating behind the scenes while you were still protecting yourself. There's some type of truth that's out where people are finding out that you have been having to protect yourself from a nutcase, okay? Uh, 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 um, uh, emotionless, like someone very wicked. This is all they're going to see, like an obsessive person that's very vain, clueless, emotionally imbalanced. So everything she's been wanting people to see that you are is what she is. Nothing but death. The plague. Just walking around causing destructions. She's embarrassed, angry because someone knows that she's been paying 
other energies behind the scenes to cause you disappointment, to cause you lost and things like that. Sabotage your ten of pentacles. You're out here building on your own and she's out here paying people to destroy what it is you're building because she wants to be seen as the better one. Whatever she has is someone else's property. Okay? She ain't build nothing. Can't build nothing because you don't reside in the energy that you need to be in for source to keep communicating with you. Okay? Okay. Anyways, listen, Empress, Divine, Feminine, baby, whatever is meant for you, you know the universe always gives to you. You know, you know the F's with you. They're going to give it to you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. If it don't come from this man, it'll come from someone at the right time. So don't you worry. Okay? Don't worry about it. They can tr keep trying to stop your uh, uh your abundance, your, your your blessings. Nothing. What the universe has deemed for you cannot be taken from you. Okay, it cannot be taken from a uh, you. It is yours. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.